guys, welcome on back to Crosshair Garage. So, got this helmet here. I realize it's not the Willys. Um, it's super hot outside. I am still fighting through debris of the past few projects. I need to finish the shit. You know, I got so much going on. But here's the deal. So, I was going through some of my past comments, and I realized that some of my comments have been held for review for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I approve those comments, of course. You know, why wouldn't I? You know, good or bad, I don't care. Comment, let me know what you think. But one of the comments was from Beth S., and I don't know who she is. She's wearing a t-shirt that says trash and she has tattoos. Good enough for me, all right? My kind of person. And her comment was on the video that I did the metal flake. And she said, this was an awesome tutorial. You're welcome, Beth. I appreciate that. Will you please do a video on laying on lowrider style graphics? I, my memory's not that good. I had to go back a couple times. Anyway, Beth, yes, I will. It's scorching hot. It's like 90-something degrees outside. I'm not going to work on the shed or get down in the garage right now. It's just it's not going to happen. I need a week or two for it to cool off. i got other stuff that I can do. Um, i got another request for a different video I'm also going to put out. And then, finally, we're going to be back on the willies. But I was like, whoa, whoa. What can I do some low rider graphics on? I've got this old built well helmet. I don't ride anymore, guys. Um, you know, it's, it's too dangerous. You know, hey, you guys that do ride, you know, that's awesome. You know, get out there, feel free, wind blowing in your hair, all that stuff, whatever. Put a helmet on so the wind's not blowing in your hair, though. But anyway, I thought I'm going to go beyond that. I'm going to do. Um, low rider style, I'm gonna, or I'm going to do some graphics on this. I'm not sure if they're going to be so much low rider style. I'm going to do water slide, and I'm going to do silver leafing. So this is kind of this is going to be a three in one tutorial. Man, talk about bang for your freaking buck, and this is free. So talk about bang for nothing. I mean, this is just bang. Anyway, um, so this build well helmet was originally this color. It was this flat gray. I went ahead and I sanded it down with 600 grit. And then I used, I just got some cheap glass cleaner that I used to clean off all the dirt. Here's the problem. I used up all the paint that I had on the purple people eater on the trike. So, I was like, well, I don't really have anything to paint coming up outside of this. So I thought we'd have a little fun. You, you guys see that? Look at that. Skill like a mofo. Anyway, we're going to use Krylon Fusion All-in-One Paint Primer Metallic Aluminum. This is what we call Kentucky Chrome, my friends. We're going to Kentucky Chrome this. And then I have Professional again. A can of the Krylon Fusion Gloss Clear. We got everything we need because I've got plenty of paints for, I got plenty of candy colors and stuff. So I'm going to take this up. I'm going to get some base coat down on it. I'm not going to make you watch any of that process. The only thing you're going to see is me laying down stripes, me doing the water slide, me doing the silver leafing, that sort of thing. So Stick around. This is bound to get exciting. Or not. One of the two. It depends on if you're interested in it. If you're interested in it, then you might want to stick around. Alright guys, so anyway, I got the helmet downstairs um, drying. I got the base coat on. But I went ahead and printed out this water slide. Basically this is kind of like the old temporary tattoos you would get. Um, this paper is made for ink jets. Uh, it's water slide deep cut. Can't talk. Water slide decal inkjet clear. Um, so you, I go on here and I, I invert the images on my computer so they print out backwards, like you can see. You know, 
everything's backwards on there. Um, but because when you lay them down, you're going to lay them down with the film to protect the ink. Um, however, I just fill up the whole page every time I print these out. I fill up the whole page with like my logo and stuff that I may use on something else. But before I can do anything with this, I need to put a clear coat or you want to put white down or something over top of it because you have to soak this in water for a few minutes to get it to release the image from the backing and the water will dissolve the inkjet or the ink printer ink stuff. You, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you this before we get to that point. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay some clear down over this and let this dry and you know we'll get back at it. Well, you know guys I'm actually kind of impressed with this paint you know for being Kentucky Chrome. It's not too bad you know it's I wouldn't call it metallic. I'll say that much. I, I would not call it metallic but then again I like my metal flake. Um, you know because I Y'all saw in the last video, you know I like my disco balls. This is, this would make a great disco ball, you know, just covered in metal flake, you know, because once again, I like to dance, you know, FJ to AMA on the hand state or flake, you know what I'm saying? Because I give it up jiggy, I make it feel like foreplay. car yo it's an escape all right anyway um but uh we're gonna get to laying down some I, i'm actually gonna hit this with 600 real quick i'm just kind of walking you through some of the steps when i hit this with 600 real quick kind of knock down some of this sheen off of it and then we're gonna lay out uh we'll bring that sheen back with the clear coat I'll stick around and uh, we'll start laying out lines here in just a minute. What are you doing, Piston? My cat's over there acting crazy. Anyway, uh, it's early in the morning, but back on this. So what I did was I ran me a center line, just kind of running off of these uh, buttons here that button there to that button there and now I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm just going to go let's let's go to that button that rivet to there center of that rivet. Alright, so this here I'm just using to make sure that my center line is actually in the center. So I'm basically using it like a measuring tape. Let's come over here to the center of this rivet. I'm doing the uh, Virgin Mary here and I'm going to put it right above this button here maybe a little lower I'm trying to think wearing the helmet. I think I think that'll be good yeah because when you're wearing the helmet this part here kind of goes around the bottom of your neck I just want to make sure it's visible 
it is going pretty far up on the helmet though, so we're going to drop it now. This is not the actual water slide, this is just a, obviously just a print of it, and right there, I think that's, that's perfect. So we're going to line up that peak right to the middle. And the only reason I'm doing this is so that I know really piston so that I know um, that this area I can't get into with my tape lines basically because that's where I'm going with the uh, with the water slide that cat's crazy anyway so let's see what we got here Let's start out with some eighth inch tape. And I have not decided on a design at all for this. I know I wanna do some silver leafing. Um, and I know I wanna do some striping. That's, that's the extent of it. So what are we gonna do guys? We're just gonna start taping and see what looks good. How's that work?
whole bag of tricks out here, you know. Um, just kind of, kind of go crazy on it. Have a little fun, you know. Why not? Going to start off with doing some black. I'm going to throw you all on time lapse because I'm going to play some Veronica Grimm while I listen to while I do this, you know. And uh, pretty sure uh, YouTube's going to slam me if I listen to her new album, which you should definitely check out. It's on Spotify, and it's called Chaos Magic. Anyway, check it out, and uh, yeah, so we're going to get to uh, doing this. Stencils, some of them are reaching the end of their life, but you know, I'll have to make some more. Generally, I find something that I like. I print it out on some vinyl paper. I cut it out with an X-Acto knife. You know, if you're lucky enough to have one of those Cricut machines, that's awesome. It's gonna save you a lot of time. Um, you know, but we did the fish scales here. We did this kind of weird pattern that I found. I don't even know what it is, but I like it. Down here, you know, we just used the tape. You want to make sure that you're going to be able, you know, you don't, you, you want to check your start. You saw me check my starting and my finish to see where everything was going to land. Over here, I just did some circles, random circles that I cut out. Um, my little cross thread, I like it. Um, did a little bit of lace up here. Uh, I'm not real thrilled with that lace that I got. I'm going to have to pick up some more, some diff something different. This here, um, I want to talk about, I, I dig this, I, I like the different, it's going to have different levels to it um, when, I, when I throw some color in there, but this piece that you saw me using for that, this I believe came out of when I bought some new boots. I pulled it out and I was like, well that's got some really cool shapes to it. You know, you got multiple different shapes. So when you come across something weird like this, you know, that's got some cool shapes to it, save it in your stencil box you know um that's what i do and boom bang a stencil you know um and 
I laid those out. I think it's going to look really cool once it's got some color down to it. Um, but yeah, I got to figure out what color we're going to do on this. Now, we are doing the, this has got about three coats of clear on it, this uh, water transfer paper. And it's just light coats of clear. Um, but I may pull a color from the Virgin Mary here to do, maybe I'll do a green. I, don't, I really like the greens. Um, there's also a blue in there, kind of a magenta type color. I could do red. Um, I'm not sure yet. There's yellow in there. I could do yellow. A lot of yellow, really. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing yet as far as that goes. Uh, so give me a minute to get everything cleaned up. I'm going to pick a color, and we're going to go from there. We're going to finish doing this, and then we'll move on to some of the other stuff. All right, guys, so I decided to go with this uh, candy red, and the main reason I decided to go with that was I already had it mixed up. Um, I started looking at my paints. I had it mixed up. I don't know what I mixed it up for. I haven't used it, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to lay down some candy red. Um, I think it's going to look good. Hopefully. We'll see. We'll find out, right? What's worse? Worse is it looks terrible and nobody wants the helmet. That's fine. What up? We'll throw you all in time lapse and we'll do this. let me know um, I did have to go back and touch up a couple spots uh, tape pulled some of this black off you know whatever it happens but well, we're gonna work on this water slide so I cut it out you know the Virgin Mary and I'm hoping to God this works on the first time because I don't want to have to print this out but we also have this button to go around so I'm gonna have to have my exacto knife ready um, I'm going to go ahead and lay out a tape line so that I get it straight. So we take this water slide and we just drop it in some water. Makes sense, right? Water slide, water. Um, probably should have got a bigger bowl. I'm going to add some water to that and uh, then we'll cut to when it's ready to come out. I will tell you that the instructions with the paper say 30 to 60 seconds. I found out that you know, leave it in there for a couple minutes works better. Uh, you know, it's just what I found. I don't know. You experiment, you play around, you figure out what works best for you. Don't listen to everything I say. Probably don't listen to anything I say, to be honest.
water slide obviously did not like the curve. Um, but I like it. Um, I'm going to let that dry for a minute. I may think about how to fix this up a little bit. It looks good, except for when it gets out here, it's got some, you know, some spots. Maybe once we lay down a bunch of clear, that won't be as noticeable. We'll see. But let's move on to some silver leaf. All right, guys, so silver leaf. Start out with your sizing glue, which I've gone over. But we'll go over it again since we're doing a new video here. Uh, sizing glue by Limeline. Mix this, if you're spraying it through an airbrush, mix it 50-50 with, with water. To water, with water. You know what I'm saying. Mix it 50. Ah, oh, dang. Try not to make a mess. I gotta clean up my station over here. Anyway, I've got some pre-mixed over here. And you want to give it, you know, some light coats. You don't want, you want it tacky, but you don't want it wet. That's more than enough. I realize that my, everything's a little bit off, but you know, I, I took the best case scenario, I guess you could say, the what was going to look the best. Um, because these, nothing, I, you know what, nothing's completely even. But we're, we're, gonna, we're, we're working with what we got. Alright, see there, I flooded it, so I might hit it with some air, kind of blow it out a little bit. Then we're going to take our uh, roller, we're just going to roll this out. Then you get a burnishing brush. And again, all this stuff is available on Amazon through uh, LimeWine's store. And I don't know why LimeWine hasn't contacted me yet to, you know, at least give me some free stuff. get those edges real good. You don't want to go too hard to where you're ripping anything. But these edges they will they will peel up be a little unclean on you if you don't get them down good. My 
found that out the hard way a million times. All right, so now we're going to attempt to to spin the uh, the leafing. I've got this. Uh, this is from Magic City. It's a it's a leaf turning tool, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, it's uh, got these little three thousand grit pads that go on there. I like to overlap by about 50%, maybe a little bit less, I don't know. Whatever looks good to you, do that. There we have it. I'm not sure how well you can see that. I'm not sure how well the camera. All right, guys. So here's the helmet finished. Got a little clear coat on it. You can see the uh, silver leafing right through there. Here's the great thing, though. So I come down here give it a second coat of clear coat I grabbed the wrong can of paint so as we come around here you yep I did that so I gotta strip this thing all the way back down or sand it all the way back down, repaint this whole thing again. But that's going to be a project for another time because I got so much other stuff going on right now, including the willies that I got to get back onto. So, you know what? This was, hopefully, you got something out of this other than I'm an idiot and I grabbed the wrong can of spray paint without looking. Um, that's the problem is my garage is a mess and that's why I'm building the shed out back so I can get stuff cleared out so I can start organizing stuff I want to set up stuff on that side versus this side you know so that problems like this don't occur again anyway I'm really annoyed with myself right now but it kind of is what it is um, I don't know uh, this was just kind of a filler video anyway um, you know while I got some other stuff in the works so anyway if you got something from this or if you enjoyed the video whatever do me a favor hit the like hit the subscribe um, you know subscribe if you haven't it really helps me helps the channel grow I appreciate all of you love you guys y'all stay awesome I'll see you on the next one